Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. It is still Tuesday, October 22nd, uh, 2019. The temperature has gone down and as you can see it has started raining. Uh, it's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon right now. Let me just actually just double check that and see if I'm... No, 4.30, I'm sorry. It's uh, 4.30 in the afternoon right now. And uh, so, updates. Um, I have been doing some research, obviously. Uh, I uh, went down today to the bank. Yesterday I had to transfer money so that I could order my greenhouse. And so I had to go back to the bank today and that's what I did. So the greenhouse is ordered. Um, I've been in contact with the gentleman that I'm getting the greenhouse from and he did receive the transfer. So I am looking at about three weeks before my greenhouse arrives. Okay, so in the meantime, what do I have to do? I'm um, going to be busy. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be over in this area over here. Okay, so basically in the next three weeks, this is what's going to happen before the greenhouse gets here. This camper is going to be out of here. Okay, so we're definitely going to have the camper out of here. Greg is going to be taking that because I'm giving that to him. All right, so the stuff that's in the camper, um, I think a majority of it I can now put in the shop because I have the room in the shop. Okay. So we're going to be able to do that. Um, he actually told me that uh, they don't have a problem with me leaving that stuff in there until we get Margie's building in over here. Okay, so we're going to worry about that then. So, but the next step that I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be breaking down the garden over here. Okay, and I'm going to be putting in trenches. Now, what I'm reading um, for trenches. They say about 35 feet for trenches. I'm not going to dig out a great big area. Trenches are going to be easier. So I'm going to dig trenches this way. Okay, probably put five or six trenches in, um, you know, like two feet apart. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one main trench this way that all of those trenches are going to hook into that main trench. Okay, so... Um, the piping running this way is going to be 4-inch pipe, I believe, is what I've been reading so far, into a tube of 6-inch pipe. Then that 6-inch pipe is going to come up and into the greenhouse, all right? And so that is what I'm going to be working on. Um, I have to make a couple of more phone calls to a couple of different people and uh, get the pricing out as far as the piping goes. Um, the main shaft pipe is going to be PVC, okay, and the piping going up into the greenhouse is also going to be PVC, but the uh, tubing going out and circulating back is going to be different, all right? So um, that has to be all uh, figured out, and that's what I'm in the process of doing. I've been watching video. Um, I thought I had a lot more time to prepare for this. Obviously, I didn't expect this to happen as it is happening now. So um, that is what is going to be happening here. Uh, I have a little bit more stone to move, and I showed you guys that earlier, what I was working on. And so that part of it is uh, I'm done for the day as far as that goes, But because uh, obviously now it is raining. It started raining about noon. Um, so the next step, like I said, I'm going to break down this garden. We're going to be dr digging probably 35 uh, feet long trenches, okay, tying them all together. That's going to come up into the greenhouse. So what I'm going to be doing is pricing out um, the cost of uh, the tubing, see what that's going to cost me. i got to get a hold of Bill, my bulldozer guy, to come and dig me some trenches, and hopefully he can do that fairly soon. Um, in the meantime, I will be working on getting the PVC and uh, the piping that I'm going to be using for um, the greenhouses. Okay. So, yeah, there's a lot to do. Um, like I said, I'm going to walk you guys through every step of the way. I What I've looked at from what I've seen, I don't have to use gravel, um, which is going to save money in the um, in the tunnels or the, the trenches, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go down, um, because we're in the northeast, we're probably going to look at going at least six feet down, putting a layer of piping down, burying that up like to a two-foot level, okay? And then put another layer. Then burying that, okay? And then um, coming up again, to a, a third level so we're probably looking at and, and like I said I have to figure out um, exactly how much 
I'm going to need so that's why I'm going to have to figure out how many trenches I have to d have dug um, what I may just do to make sure that I stay low enough is uh, just go two levels on each trench okay so um, take it down you know at least at least six to seven maybe eight feet down have the trench and if I go down eight feet do a level at eight feet and then do a level at six feet that will keep us under the frost line so I think I might just do it that way instead of trying to go three or higher because um, you don't want it up here the frost line is pretty deep so I want to make sure we never have an issue with the frost line so if I just put two layers in each trench like that you know like I said I gotta, I gotta figure out exactly what that's gonna cost me for piping and all that type of thing so um, that's what I'm gonna be doing research wise over the next day or two figuring out exactly what I need for the square footage of my greenhouse so that's going to determine obviously how much pipe that I need and those type of things and I'll share all that information with you guys when I have it and walk you through everything and show you how we're going to do this um, I've definitely been watching other videos of people that are doing the geothermal as well and so it's it's really really interesting and they're talking about the type of fans you got to have and how much um, it's pushing through the fans for circulating that air so you're keeping that greenhouse you know at a, at a right temperature and stuff like that so it's a lot to it um, there's a lot of other things going on as well so and uh, so that's kind of interesting as well so but uh, I will share more as we go on and uh, I'm just really really excited um, you guys have no idea how excited I am to be able to get this going um, literally six to eight months um, before I had planned on doing it maybe even almost a year uh, you know before we would have been able to do this normally so uh, this definitely is something that is going to be a really really cool thing and it's going to come together and I think it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be an interesting project so um, you know I cannot wait to share it with you guys and um, it's going to be a lot of work but it's going to be well well worth it hopefully uh, we will be growing this winter and uh, if I like I said the most important things right now is getting this piping in place before the greenhouse gets here now once the greenhouse gets here I can put the greenhouse up obviously at any point in time but the sooner that I can get uh, the groundwork done the better because winter's upon us and not that far away so I mean we still probably have all of November we can work in but like I said I want to try to get this um, going as soon as possible and get that first part of it out of the way so that's what we're going to be working on and again like I said I'm going to share everything with you I'm going to tell you what my figures are what I'm looking at for square footage of the greenhouse and all those type of things so it's going to be very exciting and uh, I am really really excited psyched about this whole thing and like I said each step of the way I'm going to explain everything why we're doing what we're doing how we're going to do it and how it's going to be done and um, it's going to be a very very cool thing when it's all said and done we're going to have an awesome system here at the homestead all right so um, anyway so that is what is going on and uh, like I said I just wanted to give you guys an update of what's happening but the greenhouse has been ordered uh, I will have the greenhouse here in about three weeks so I gotta try to figure if we can get this done beforehand um, once the greenhouse is here uh, Greg has already told me that he will help me with building the greenhouse and I basically told him you know you're gonna benefit from it because once I start growing I said you guys are gonna be getting fresh vegetables and stuff too so you know it's just a it's a win-win for everybody you know because I'm definitely going to be sharing my bounty um, you know with my immediate neighbors and stuff like that when I'm growing and it's just I just that's just the way I want to do it and so I think that that's important to do I will be doing a lot of canning um, from the greenhouse as well so that's a you know and then eating fresh vegetables whenever I want which is just going to be an absolute blessing um, it's going to be awesome so my diet will definitely be improving uh, I will be eating a lot more greens and a lot of good fruit uh, food grown um, right in my own aquaponics system so I'm really really truly excited about this whole project um, I don't know if you can tell in my voice but uh, I, I'm, I'm like a like a little kid at Christmas 
Um, I cannot wait. This is just going to be fantastic. And I realize it's going to be a tremendous amount of work. I realize it's going to be a huge learning curve, but um, well, well worth it in the end. Okay, so anyway, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys and give you that immediate update of what's going on. So um, that's what we're doing. All right, so um, as we move forward, I will obviously share more of that with you, and we will go from there. But so that's the update for today. So remember, guys, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. And it's really, really important that we do that. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you, okay? Um, stay positive, stay away from that negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.